Hello everyone, this is uh, Shane from Liberty Under Attack Radio. Today is May 26th, 2015. The time is approximately 2.34 Central Time uh, in the, the Communist State of Illinois. We've got something very special for you today. So, for those who are unaware, a week ago I posted my felony scratching article on Kathy Michaels' page on Facebook, which you can see on screen right now. Uh, in that article, I discussed the corrupt local courthouse in depth when I was forced by government to serve as a juror. The screenshot of that post is on screen, and it reads as follows. Quote, I had an experience with the McLean County Law and Injustice Center this past week. I highly recommend everyone read my article discussing it. It's all documented, first-hand experience. And if this organization is really in the business of truth, justice, and freedom of speech in the press, they will allow this to be read by everyone. End quote. So, there's the post as you see on screen. And, <clears throat> if you look at the posts on page, the only one on there is my most recent one. And, uh, she looks like she, uh, did a little, looks like she did uh, a little housekeeping on her post to page section. Um, in the picture in the screenshot, you can see that there was, uh, um, the most recent post before mine was April 7th, not November of 2014. Now, whether that was because of my post or not, we'll never know for sure, but my post is gone, as I would have expected it to be. It did take a week, though, and I uh, did see a little traffic from that post. So, what's next? Well, she will be receiving my newest article discussing my experiences at the McLean County board meeting a week ago on her Facebook page. As you can see here, it's already posted. It'll be interesting to see how long this one lasts. This is clearly another example of chilling dissent, much like the previous post on this page, the, mo the most recent post on this page, in which Kyle Reardon was told politely to fuck off by Dr. Trefagan. I will end with what I have to say to Mrs. Michael, the McLean County clerk. Chill all you want. But I will continue to expose the corruption in the McLean County government from the inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and change your cover photo on Facebook unless you enjoy looking like a hypocrite. Until next time.